Matches Below. Hey guys, Matches Below here, bringing you guys another DC Toy Box TV review. Today we're going to be looking at the Pop Heroes Batman v Superman Aquaman. Okay, so like always, guys, before we get into the actual figure review, I do want to go over the packaging. Um, as you can see, this is the standard Pop Heroes box where you do get an open window box and you do get to see the figure inside. Uh, right here, we do get a Hot Topic exclusive. This is a variant color of the standard Aquaman exclusive to Hot Topic. So if you wanted to get this version of Aquaman, you had to only buy him at Hot Topic. Um, I'm not sure if they still have them, so you might have to hunt him down at um, eBay or something like that. Uh, right here, we do get a kind of cartoony image of the figure itself. Right across the bottom, we do get to read Aquaman. Up here on top, we do get the Pop Heroes logo. We get the Batman v Superman logo. And we get the number 87. Uh, Aquaman is the 87th figure of the overall Pop Heroes toy line. Um, right here, continuing with the open window box, we do get a side view of the figure. Up top, we get the Pop Heroes logo. Right across, we get Aquaman. On the bottom corner, we do get the number 87. And we get the top of that cartoony image once again. And on the other side, we do finally get to see the full cartoony image of the figure. We get the Pop Heroes logo, Aquaman, number 87, and in the corner we do get DC Comics logo. Then finally in the back we do once again see that cartoon image once again. We do see the Pop Heroes logo, Batman v Superman logo, number 87, and Aquaman. And then we get the rest of the Batman v Superman Pop Heroes uh, figures within this wave. Uh, I do want to point out that... Aquaman, uh, this variant color, this blue one, is just replacing the standard Aquaman. So it is the same number, you know, so even if you didn't get the exclusive, you could still get the full uh, line. Um, but if you get both, then you technically have two number 87s. Uh, across the bottom, we get the DC Comics logo, Batman v Superman logo, the Wonder Brothers logo, and the Funko Pop logo. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all for packaging, so I'm going to get this guy out of his box and we can check him out. Okay, so here we have the Hot Topic exclusive Aquaman out of his box. Um, so right off the bat, I gotta say, he definitely looks cool. This, like, variant uh, aqua color, or, you know, I guess I call it aqua color, but just this, like, really weird blue color. Looks really weird um, and looks really cool at the same time. I don't know if he's supposed to be some type of underwater uh, Aquaman or what, but he just looks really nice overall. Um, clearly, you can see that kind of, like, very classic uh, Pop Heroes, uh, you know, stylized. Uh, figure where it's the small body with the bay head, so definitely it looks nice. I think it transitions really well into this Aquaman figure. I really like how you know the Jason Momoa image that we saw. Um, it, it shows that him having tattoos, so I really like that they didn't incorporate those tattoos within the body of this little figure. Definitely looks nice. I like that the pants has textures right here, and just overall a lot of sculpting details within. You know, his belts and the straps across his chest, this kind of like pouch. You know, they even like kind of um, right here scoped in some of the details within his, you know, his um, boot. You see right there, his gauntlet. Yeah. Definitely looks nice overall. Like I said, I really like the, the kind of the color scheme of this. I don't know why, it just looks really different and really weird, so. Uh, right here, you could see that, you know, this is uh, his beard, but I like how they even added these kind of like little lines to kind of make it seem like they're all, you know, hair. And then over on his actual uh, hair, they they, they kind of sculpted in kind of like this wavy long hair with all these lines and ridges. It just looks really nice. Uh, interesting is that the standard uh, Aquaman figure has these kind of like blonde highlights, and they didn't they didn't put them on this guy. You know, it would have been cool if they had put them, but they had put them on different color. You know, but overall it does look really nice. I like how they did incorporate again the the trident from the standard Aquaman figure. Um, this is sculpted onto his hand, so you can't remove it, but it looks good. It is a little warped right here. It is bending just a little bit, but, you know, from afar and just, like, when you're going to put him on your desk, your shelves, whatever, uh, he's going to look good, so you don't have to worry about that. 
but yeah, he is exactly the same from the standard Aquaman, um, Aquaman pop hero figure. You can see right here, he does have these kind of like little fins on his boot. Like I said in the other review, this is pretty much the first time we're seeing the full body of Aquaman. The Jason Momoa image is pretty much from the, the waist up. You know, we haven't seen him pop up in any of the trailers, so it's definitely cool that, you know, we're kind of getting a glimpse of how he's going to be in the movie uh, through this little figure. The Batman and Superman and all the other figures seem to be very screen accurate, so I'm pretty sure that the Aquaman figure is going to be screen accurate as well. Just that it's not going to be all blue. Oh no, that would be cool. You could see right there, he does have his kind of like his shoulder piece over the shoulder. Uh, these guys, they could uh, rotate their head. Uh, Aquaman, it kind of touches right here the tip of his head to his arm. But with a little bit of force, you could just rotate it all the way around so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the articulation for these little guys. You know, you can't move the arms, you can't move the legs. That's pretty much it. But it still looks really cool, really nice. Uh, just for a little bit of comparison, I will bring in the standard version of Aquaman from uh, the Batman v Superman Pop Hero line. There to kind of give you guys a little bit of the differences between the figures. As you can see here is the blonde highlights I was mentioning about. And this color is a lot more of a green and gold, you know, the classic Aquaman colors. With his bare chest and the, the brown straps. Um, but yeah, I know that the camera is at a weird angle. So you can't see it straight forward view, but they are exactly identically the same. So they are the same height, they're in scale to one another. So if you do purchase both of them, they're going to be the same figure, just different colors. Uh, but here it is a close up, uh, kind of like a first uh, uh, front view of the figures. Sorry, a front view of the figure so you can kind of see how they will look next to one another. I'll just give you guys again more of that comparison how the blue one difference from the standard one. I think it looks good. I think both of them looks good. You know, if you're a huge Aquaman fan, you're definitely gonna want to purchase both of these. Uh, but you can just see how this one's supposed to kind of look like underwater, or at least my point of view kind of looks like that. Uh, but yeah, like I mentioned, guys, I definitely recommend this to you. You know, Aquaman fans out there, you guys are definitely gonna like this figure. Uh, DC Comics fans, I recommend it as well, and I recommend it for all of you guys who are Batman v Superman fans. If you guys are super excited for this movie, I definitely suggest you guys go out and buy this uh, because it's a really nice collectible to have. You know, it just looks good overall. It definitely, definitely looks nice. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this, you know, toy review. Um, comment down below. Tell me, guys, what do you guys thought? If you guys ha collect a lot of pop figures and you guys already have them in your collection, or you guys never jumped on and this is gonna be your first figure, whatever your thoughts may be, comment down below. Like the video, you guys like it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe and look forward to more videos. Thanks. Later.